Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry, coming to you live from our little mini studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. You want to reach this ministry, the Nazarene Ministry, call 702-488-4097. 702-488-4097. We've been talking about the sacred intimacy, the names of the Father, Yahovah, you may call him G-O-D, which is a title, not a name. You may call him Jehovah, you may call him Yahweh, but we're going to teach you about some names that aren't very often utilized or known by most believers, which gives you power in prayer. Very important power. First one we're going to start out with is Atik Ya'on. Atik Ya'on. Or it can be pronounced Atak Ayo. Now, Ancient of Days, Yahovah. He is eternal. Moshe said he is from everlasting to everlasting. Completely. If you go back to the beginning of Yah, you can't find it. If you go as far in the future as you can, you cannot find it. He's from everlasting to everlasting. The Ancient of Days. He was before the beginning of time. Therefore, he has all authority over all. All authority, anointing. Power. Yahushua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazarene said, All is possible with the Father God Almighty. Do we have biblical verse to back this up? Your Biblios, which means the book. In the ancient days of our Lord and Savior, they call it the Holy Scriptures. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Daniel chapter 13, also verse 13. Daniel chapter 7, 13 and 14. Remember to read those so you know and understand what we are talking about. The next name that most people have not heard, El means God, Dia. Yahovah of knowledge. You've heard me pray many times. Yahovah, we want, we receive, we need, we got to have your divine supernatural knowledge. Oh, blessed Father God, release it to us. Loose it from the heavens, from your holy throne, through your Son, through the Holy Spirit to us. El Dia. Yahovah is supernatural divine knowledge, wisdom, and it Yahovah brings us to us many times to become wise. We've got to grow in wisdom. Apart from Yahovah, there is no wisdom. It's just all foolishness. And anybody that doesn't realize that everything comes from Yahovah, they're not wise. They don't understand the way of Yahovah. True believers know everything. So even if I, who went out and earned money doing part-time work or ministry work, whatever, and I give it to somebody, where did it really come from? From Yah who has touched my heart to help someone else and utilize me to get that money to them or services or goods, food, whatever. Someone needs help moving something. Yahovah says in his law, I am to help them move. So I've had neighbors and I've seen them with U-Haul trucks or whatever. And I walk up to them and go, you want help carrying this? into your house or from your house to the truck. 
And it usually shocks them and catches them very off guard. But I help them. And that's the law of God. So in understanding that, we respect Yahovah and keep his commandments to love one another. We will know Yahovah as he is and his wisdom will guide us. His wisdom will guide us. So this is very important we understand this. El Dia. He is all knowledge. Now, we find that in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Oh, Romans is really good. Paul writes very eloquently about Father God Almighty. Romans chapter 11, verses 33 through 36. 1 Corinthians, of course this is written by Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 through 31. You want to look those up and steady, and you're going to find a lot of knowledge that you might not have had before. Now, we're going to be looking at Psalms 139, verse 13 through 18, El Tuol. Yahovah, who gave birth, is our creator. He gave us birth. We well, might argue, well, wait a minute, Pastor. I was born by my mother and father. But from Adam and Eve to us, God has created and creator indirectly of you, me, and everyone. We need to understand it and give him all the glory and thanks for it. Yahovah, who gave birth to you, me, Yahovah is our creator and our Abba, our father. He saw us and he loved us even before we were born. So he knew us, our souls, who he created in heaven. So that is the direct creation that came to your mother's womb is your soul. You've got to remember that. Yahovah saw our soul, loved us, sent it to your mother's womb. He has a plan for your life. Now, this is so critical. He has a plan, a destiny, a will for your life. And if you walk with Yahovah, he will fulfill his will, his destiny, his plan, and your dreams. He will fulfill them over your life, and it will amaze you. Totally amaze you. Now we go on to El Shaddai Roi. Now most people will pronounce this Roi because it's R-O-H-I, and in America we pronounce I-I. But that's wrong. From the Hebrew and Aramaic, E-I is pronounced like two E's. E, E. So it's actually El Shaddai Roi. Now, why is in Shaddai, the last three letters, D-A-I, is it pronounced I at this time because of the A? When you see A-I, then it's I, all right? El Shaddai Roi. Yahovah Almighty, the Mighty One of Yahakab, or Jacob in English. Yahovah is not just another Elohim or an El like the countless idols. Idols don't breathe. They do not live. They cannot change the weather. They cannot change planet, to planet movement, rotation. They cannot do any of that. But Yahovah did and can. So Yahovah truly is the almighty creator of heaven and earth. We can figure this out in Genesis 17, chapter 17, verse 1, chapter 49, verse 24, Psalm 91, one of my favorites, read the whole thing, and Psalm 132, verses 2 through 5. Steady those. They will immensely bless you. Now we move on. 
El Rohi. Now, once again, R O I, people want to pronounce it Rohi, but it's actually El Rohi. Our Father God, Yahovah, is strong. Strong. He is the strong one, his strong right hand. You'll read about it in different places in the Bible where by his strong right hand he delivered them from the Egyptians. This is when the seas were parted, they crossed on dry land. And Moshe identified, praised, and worshipped the Father God Almighty that by his strong white hand he delivered all the slaves who came out of Egypt. Now, once again, I'm going to remind you again, and bear with me, not just Israelite slaves, Ethiopians, Greeks, Turks, Arabian slaves, Asian slaves, because they all traded with Pharaoh, and one of the commodities that they traded to Pharaoh were slaves, a labor force for free. Now, so, understanding El Rohi, strong one who sees. When you feel lonely and abandoned by people, know that Yahovah is with you. Yahovah sees you and he knows you. He hears the cry of your heart. Now in the Bible, we also hear the words that God says to Cain when he says, the blood in the earth cries out. The blood of the brother of Cain. Cain and Abel. His blood cried out from the earth to Father God Almighty. He could hear it. Why? There's life in the blood. It has sound. It has vibration. Scientists have proven all of this. I'm not asking you to believe it. It's the science. So long story short, he reads and knows your heart. Messiah said very clearly in the scriptures that Yahovah, God Almighty, can read men and women's hearts. We can't hide anything from God. Don't even try. He hears the cry of your heart, and he loves you more than you can imagine. He will lead you through and fill your heart with his love, mercy, grace, favor, and his praise. Imagine God holding you, lifting you up. Knowing you, praising you as you praise him. Because when we praise him, he praises us. But just think about that. God is a loving God. And just like your father lifted you when you were a small child and looked at you in the sun and was in awe of who you are, God is your loving Abba, your loving father. And he feels exactly the same way. Now we're going to be looking at the verse of Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. El Olam, everlasting Yahovah, Yahovah is eternal, while your problems are very temporal or temporary. His love never changes. His promises are true. Now, there are two things about the Father God Almighty that he will not do. Yahovah himself, describing himself, said, I am not a man that I can love, and I am not a young man that I can change my mind. What he says to us are commandments and forever. He will not break a covenant promise. Count on that. He is pure truth. Yahushua said to us. Actually, he was speaking to Thomas in the Holy Scriptures. And he said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, once again, you've got to read Isaiah. Isaiah was one of the most perfect prophets. His prophecies, past, present, 
and future came true. Now, our everlasting Father, Yahovah, all right, build your structure, your being on Him. He is your eternal Father, God Almighty. And do not focus on temporal situations, temporary situations. Don't let Satan drag you into that kind of focus. Focus, concentrate on the holy scriptures of the Father God Almighty, on God himself, and on God who became a man to walk on earth. That's Emmanuel, the person, Yahushua Messiah, Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Focus on the Holy Spirit and know that your prayers will be answered. He will show you his great and eternal goodness. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I'm in the desert, friends. Got to have some water. Now, another name that I find that most people do not know. El Gabor. Spelled el dash. G-I-B-H-O-R. Yahovah, mighty God. L means God. Yahovah is mighty to save. His arm is not too short to save. Whatever problem you are facing, know that your Yahovah, God Almighty, or Elohim, is El Gabor, mighty one who can and will save you. Now, looking at the verses of Isaiah 9, chapter 9, verse 6, you'll find out that is absolutely true from the Holy Scriptures. Now, this is one of my favorites, and I may have covered this more than once. El Elyon. This was one of the favorite callings of Jacob. It means Yahovah, Most High God. Do not fear the enemy who tries to intimidate, belittle, shame you, dehumanize you. You are a child of Yahovah. Know that your God Almighty, Elohim, Yahovah, most high God. He is there and there is none above him. Even Yahushua Messiah, Jesus Christ the Nazarene, exalted God Almighty and said his name is above every name. And when he was asked who is good, he said there is only one who is good referring to the Father God Almighty. Very important we understand that. Elohim, you hear me say it many times from the Holy Scriptures that I read to you over and over again. It's from the Hebrew into the Scriptures, Elohim, meaning God, Elohim. God is creator, powerful, and mighty. I always describe it as Almighty God. Yahovah is Lord of Lords. He is the Lord Most High. Even Yeshua gave this worship and praise to the Father God Almighty, stronger and mightier than anyone or anything. When you face the impossible circumstances or adversaries, now you need to know Yahovah's strength. And knowing that, you will always have victory. Yahovah Gemala, the God of recompense. Yahovah is the God of recompense. Yahovah says in Romans 12, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. Some translations say, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. We should never avenge others for what they do to us, but leave it in Yahovah's hands. Many times 
I have come into trials and tribulations with people, and I always forgive them, and I say, Father God, I put them in your hands. I have forgiven them. You know better than I, you are wiser than I, exactly what to do. And he'll take care of it. Now this one is critical. Yahovah Sabbath. Earlier today, one of the elders had to go out and do errands or whatever. I called to let me know. And I said, may the angels, the sacred and holy angels of Yahovah guard you, protect you, keep you safe in all your travels and journeys. Amen. Yahovah Sabbath means God Almighty of hosts, the host of what? The angels in heaven. The scriptures mentions myriads of angels, or from the Hebrew messengers, who wage war against the armies of hell, who try to destroy mankind. Do not be fooled by Satan and what he commands. He will try to tell you, oh, I'll give you all this power. I will, you know, sell your soul to me. I will give you all of this. He even tempted with our Lord and Savior. He took him up on a high place. He showed the kingdoms of the world. He said, all of these kingdoms I will give to you if you'll fall down and worship me. What did our Lord and Savior say from Deuteronomy? That he only worshiped Yahweh. This is the problem from Genesis. Yahovah wanted to keep Adam and Eve absolutely innocent. Do not eat from the tree of knowledge because it is the tree of good and evil. Two powers, not one. If Adam and Eve would have not eaten from that tree, we would have known one power. Yahovah Elohim. We would have had his full and absolute protection. He would have walked with us in the cool of the evening every day. What did they do? They broke what Yahovah asked them not to do. They were disobedient. And then, instead of confessing truly to the Father God, and I warn you, when you confess to the Father, do not rationalize your sin. Simply say, this is what I say to the Father and the Son on a regular basis. No excuses. I messed up. I sinned. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, inside out, outside and in. I have sinned before your holy glory. Please forgive me. No excuses. Don't try to rationalize. Well, he said this. He did that. It caused me to do this. Da, da, da. No, don't do that with God. True confession is just admitting, I sinned before you, Father, and I need your forgiveness. Now, the compassion and passion of God for us, the love of God, the love of a Father for us, our Creator, He immediately forgives us. And He says Himself, our sins will be buried in the deepest blue sea, never to be dug up again. In other words, he doesn't remember them. But what does Satan do? He constantly tries to belittle you, demean you, dehumanize you. He is hatred, prejudice, evil, wickedness, enviousness. He is sly. He is the con angel of all cons. He is the scammer of all scams. He is the tempter. He is the liar. He is the murderer. He is the father of all evil. He is a demon devil. He was cast out of heaven. He is not worth your thought. Don't let him get in your mind. Paul warned us that the battlefield for your soul is your mind. He tries to 
get in there just before you're ready to receive your miracle. He tries to get in there, interrupt it, mess it up, and disguise it or redirect it in another direction so you don't get it. Yahovah Sabbath. The Father God who created the angels and rules the angels. They serve him. Let's pray. Sacred and Holy Father, we come before you sinners. No excuses, Father. Wash us in the blood of Yahushua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. We take the cross sacrifice for our sin. Forgive us, Father. And we know when we confess our Savior, we are forgiven. We receive your forgiveness. Help us, Father God, to learn through your wisdom to be obedient and to break all addiction to sin. In your Son's precious and holy name, the name of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ the Nazarene, we all agree in prayer by saying amen. Rebirth us all, Father God. Rebaptize us all in the name of the Father Yah, in the name of the Father Yah who saves. That's Yahushua, Jesus Christ the Nazarene. And in the name of the Ruach HaKodesh Shekinah down the Holy and Sacred Spirit. Change us forever, Father, so we can follow your Son into heaven. Amen. Well, friends, if you need to get a hold of this ministry, please call 702-488-4097. On our videos, you will see how to donate to us through our PayPal account. And these are people who utilize their debit cards and or credit cards to donate to us. And thank you for it. If in the event that you want to send us checks or money orders, please call us at 702-488-4097 and we will direct you. God bless you all. Happy trails to you. And until we meet again, be safe, be protected, and always follow our sacred Savior, Yahushua Messiah, Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Amen. Amen, my friends. Amen and amen.